Monk Yunro here. Welcome to the Forbidden Rice Podcast. When we say sitting is the new smoking, we are referring to the detrimental physical effects of staying at your computer all day. And there's all kinds of apps now to remind you a little buzz, a little ding goes off, get up, move around, don't sit. There are stretches and physical routines to get you to not cripple yourself. There's all kinds of prescriptions for exercise to offset the amount of time we spend sitting. There's a lot of studies that show that once you're sitting, even all those exercise antidotes don't actually work. There is a discussion of compulsive shopping on, on, online. There is a discussion of immediate gratification of the hyperlink phenomenon, moving from one thing to the other. There's even high-level academic discussion of whether we are changing our brains using hypertext and hyperlink to go from one thing to the other. But something that I don't see a lot of people talking about is the pure level of addiction that the smartphone and its associated devices, your tablet and your computer, represent. I know there have been some studies that say it is more addictive than sex and crack cocaine. But aside from those occasional studies, I wonder why everybody is ignoring the elephant in the room which is that people no longer speak to each other and that our attention has been so entrained by that immediate gratification that we cannot sustain concentrated thinking, deep and profound inquiry into anything. The reason why books are going away is not because reading online is a better option or better technology. The book is a great technology. It lasted thousands of years. It's still great. The reason that people aren't reading and the reason that this addiction is so troubling is that the effects on our brain that all that immediate gratification, little bells and whistles, little Pavlovian chimes that reward you for this or remind you of that, what they do is they make it impossible to sustain deep focus. So therefore, when you cannot sustain deep focus, it's hard to read a book because as you're sitting there quietly reading a book or attempting to meditate for that matter, or doing a moving meditation like Tai Chi, your brain is going, I'm I'm a little dog, I want a drink. I want a drink. I want a treat. Give me a treat. Give me a treat. Give me a drink. Give me a treat. Give me a drink. Give me a treat. Where's my bell? Where's my thing? Where's my screen? Where's my touch? Where's my push? And we are incredibly, preposterously addicted to these things. Recently at the gym, I looked around at the gym. Of all places not to bring your smartphone, wouldn't the gym rank pretty high, maybe along with the opera or a funeral? But at the gym, I see people on the machines between sets. The idea of set interval, the idea of supersetting, the idea of focusing to connect your mind with the movements that you're doing for a better physical result, all of that is out the window because they're not really there. They're actually in the world of their smartphone, but they just happen to be in the world of their smartphone at the gym. So how about this? Figure out a way to wean yourself from this addiction. If it's any motivation for you, remember that 50, 60, 100 people at Yahoo and Google and Apple and everybody else is sitting there looking at your data, everything you do online, trying to figure out ways to keep your attention, trying to figure out ways to make you buy stuff, trying to learn from your patterns of consumption and attention. And what they're really doing is not so much looking for your dollars. Yes, they're doing that. But they're using your attention to get dollars from somebody else. By mining all this data, you are a guinea pig. You are being used totally. And yes, I've seen other people talk about this, but not nearly enough. It's huge. This might be the largest single addiction 
in the history of the human race. Again, if a study shows it's more addictive than sex, more addictive than crack cocaine, we're talking a whole new level here. And it is a huge subject. Please think about it. Please share this video. Please share these ideas. Let's get back to talking to each other. Let's get back to the real physical world. Let's stop the damage to our bodies and let's get our minds back so that they can work again. Maybe there's someone out there that doesn't really want us thinking too deeply about anything. Hmm. Think about that. Thanks for joining me for this latest installment of the Forbidden Rice podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. For more, to go deeper into my world, my books, my speaking, my teaching, and to sign up for my newsletter, visit monkyunro.com.